Can I just start my presentation off by saying I'm here because of the amazing staff that's gone by the hospital. Uh, I'm absolutely super proud of this team. Okay, next slide, please, Steve. Okay, so you're going to get a little bit of a, a, a visual of me. Um, so this is Lisa at Heaviest. Um, I was um, size 30 and 26 stone, and that's me at my slimmest. So I've put a little bit of waist on, but we can explain that during the journey. Okay, next slide. Okay, so this is a slide that details my previous lifestyle. So as a child, I had normal weight, but leading to my 30th year, I was working in the corporate world um, and I started to put weight on. So um, I was actually a business analyst in a, in a bank working full time. Um, I worked international hours, so my sleep pattern was erratic. It's very, very much work based. So um, the nature of my job was sitting down at a desk or presenting in a boardroom environment. And I was constantly working away. So my diet was grab and go, hotel food, glass of wine with meal, um, that type of thing. Um, and weekends spent most of it going out, eating and drinking, um, unregulated food portion sizes. And as time went on, plates get bigger. So and the size of plates in the 1970s to where they were in the 1990s, 2000s were huge. Um, so, but I did regularly exercise, so even though I was a big girl, I exercised in between work, um, swimming, gym, stuff like that. So next slide, please, Stevie. Okay, so my health presentation before surgery, I was morbidly obese. My BMI was 58.4, which was really unhealthy. Um, type 2 diabetic, controlled with metformin and big toe was up. Um, I had cellulitis constantly and horrible infections in my legs. Um, presented with underactive thyroid, high blood pressure, polycystic ovaries. I've got a deep vein thrombosis in 2009. Um, you know, constantly tired. I've got a diagnosis of fatty liver. So you can see things here are getting really grim health wise. Um, I had anxiety about how much it was costing the NHS because my injections were a fortune. So that's something that played on my mind. And although I'm a confident person, my confidence was at an all time low. Constant, constant fat shaming, being stereotyped. People will say to me, do you actually work full time? Well, yes, I do. You know, so that was something that was a real problem for me. And I was constantly had fear of early morbidity. That was a daily issue. So you can imagine it's not just your physical health, it's your mental health that is through this journey is really badly affected. And I was traveling. So it's going in airline seat where somebody's waving a great big at Seabox and again it adds to your anxiety about travelling. Okay, next slide. Next slide, please, Steve. So, in terms of preparation for my weight loss, I made a personal decision to keep my journey private. I wanted the opinion from our medical colleagues here at Salford Royal because out there you will find everybody has got an opinion about anybody who's fat, how they should lose weight. And people view bariatric surgery as the easy way out. And believe you me, it's not. So that was my decision. I hit the exercise and I thought, let's make it fun. Let's get my well-being sorted out. I was really supported by the NHS Weight Management Service. Started so keeping a food diary, met with an NHS dietitian, and I adopted a training programme for me, a 2020 approach, cutting my food into the size of 20 pp's chewing it 20 times and then stopping eating when after 20 minutes or when I felt full. And I would advocate that approach to anybody to try because you do feel full. And it was getting used to that feeling of my body and saying, stop eating. So that was a really good approach. I adopted the Eat Well Plate mythology and um, I actually invested in the portion plate so I could have that visual. And I changed my weekend drinking to include more water and less alcohol. And boy, did I feel great on a Sunday morning when all my friends and family were feeling rather ill from the weekend. So that was great. Um, I decided to adopt mindfulness. That was an approach that worked for me to take some time out and reset. And I really started to look forward to a healthy future because I could see some weight coming off before I had surgery. Okay, next slide, please, Steve. Um, I did present with a hernia um, and I had um, some revision surgery um, for gastric bypass to correct a hernia. And that surgery was successful. So I had a sleeve gastrectomy in 2014. So quite a long time I've had revision surgery and I feel really healthy and well. Um, and I'm so thankful to the NHS for that um, surgery. Okay, next slide, Stephen. 
So my life after surgery, again, I've told you I'm, I'm really um, grateful. But my career BMI, I'm, not, I'm never going to be mega slim, but it's 31. So when you think where it was at nearly 60 to 31, my healthy journey is continuing um, throughout the rest of my life. I've got no cellulitis, loads more energy. My exercise, uh, that's just part of my life now. And that's my personal motivation journey. Um, I do park run, I do gym, I do cycling. Um, yeah, I love it. Absolutely great. Well-being is absolutely my priority now. I always take time out for me. Um, I've got a more positive uh, interaction socially. I'm really more conscious about um, making my stupid choices about food and drinks. So beige food, totally off my menu. I want to eat something that tastes great. Um, I've embraced the bike culture, I ride a motorbike now, which you can imagine from that other photograph I would never in a million years have been able to do. So I've got a try and fun bird. I love it. And it's a great part of my life. Um, I've got confidence travelling. I have no issues. Um, and I absolutely feel passionate about helping others with their journey's health and lifestyle. So I've actually changed my career from the privileged corporate world. Um, I actually um, work for a lot of us now supporting vulnerable children back into education, which includes things about sleep hygiene, about eating and stuff like that. That's part of my role. Um, and I'm actually um, a foster carer as well. So we promote um, what healthy eating with young people who come into our care. Because it's amazing how young people out there, they don't know where our food comes from. They think it's all McDonald's. They think it's all fast food. And you get an opportunity to show them how to cook. So, I, you know, I feel really privileged to be able to go through this journey and give people the people that opportunity. Next slide, Susie. And that's how my life changed. That was me in my presentation, Heavy's Way, and that's the more recent photograph. And I'm 54 now, and it's a matter of me going through, continuing with this health journey and taking the advice of all the professionals who've actually given me the opportunity to, to lose this weight. So thank you.